Thanks for tuning in. This is episode 189 of Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio. My name is Jeremy Lesniak. I'm your host on the show. I'm the founder at Whistlekick. And today's subject is about participation trophies and why I feel they are absolutely counter to what everything that we believe in and talk about in the martial arts. I might get a little heated. Fair warning. You can hit up whistlekickmartialartsradio.com for all of the other 188 wonderful episodes, show notes, photos, tons of content. If you're new to this show, thanks for tuning in. You don't have to go back to the beginning, but I get emails all the time from folks that find the show and become overwhelmed because they feel they've got to go back to the beginning. You don't have to, but if you want to, I think you might enjoy it. We've got great stuff. Plus, you get to hear me several years ago when I had even less of an idea of what I'm doing than I do now. If you want to check out our online home, that's whistlekick.com. That's where we link to everything that we do. And if you think that we're just selling gear, shirts, and hosting a podcast, you would be wrong. We've got a lot of stuff going on out in cyberspace, and whistlekick.com is your hub for every bit of it. Participation trophies. This is a polarizing subject. People feel really strong either way. Whether you are for participation trophies or you are against participation trophies, let's talk about them. Whether it's a trophy or a medal or a ribbon or a certificate, We tend to see these at martial arts competitions with younger children. Something is given out. Something is is handed out. Sometimes the children are lined up and they'll award first through fourth place with real trophies, medals, whatever. And then they'll line everyone else up and say that they're all fifth place. Or if, you know, maybe the trophies go to third place, everyone else is fourth place. And I got to say, that really bothers me. Sometimes, if I think about it too hard, it makes me a little bit sick to my stomach. I've been seeing this happen more and more over the years, and now that part of my role with Whistlekick is attending a lot of events, I see a lot of events doing this. And I may have some of my martial arts friends that put on events listening to this episode, and they may think that I'm being critical of them. And guess what? I am. If we can't call each other out for the things that we're doing wrong, And yes, I am going to say flat out, this is wrong. Why? Excuse me. It is wrong because it is counter to the values that we say we stand for as martial artists. If you don't value the things that we're going to move through, we're going to talk about, then you're not wrong. It's a judgment. You are wrong if your values are counter to your actions. This action, this handing out some kind of external item to these people, children, it's almost always children, It symbolizes not their effort, but their participation. Over time, kids are going to associate participation and not effort with a result. I don't have to practice my form. I don't have to practice my fighting. If I go to this tournament, I'm going to get a ribbon, medal, trophy, plaque, whatever, anyway. Is that really the message that we want to send to these kids? It shouldn't be. In fact, I would say that is the exact opposite of what we should be doing in martial arts. Do we hand out rank based simply on participation? No. In almost every school, it's a combination of effort and skill. Now, as adults, very few of us receive anything simply for participating. I've never kept a job just by showing up, and I don't know anyone that has. People don't value the things you just give them. They value the things that they've worked for. I don't know about you, And it may depend on how old you are, but growing up, I had chores. And you could say that I had an allowance. It was very small. It was a dollar a week. But I had to do all the things that were on my chore list to be given that money. So was it an allowance? Not really. It was a business relationship between my mother and I. She taught me work versus payment. Maybe that's why I'm an entrepreneur and always have been. If you look at the toy box of a spoiled child, you tend to see a lot of broken, damaged, older, dirty, whatever toys. Kids that are spoiled don't value the things that we give them. And guess what? When you start handing out participation awards, that's spoiling a child. These spoiled children grow into adults that want things handed to them the very same way. Have you ever worked with someone like this, whether it's professionally or in your martial arts training? It's not fun. In fact, it's miserable. I've done projects with these folks. And not everyone is that 
gets a participation trophy is going to grow up to be a spoiled adult. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying it is not moving them in the right direction in the right way. The job of a martial arts school, the thing that we universally preach, our most unifying aspect, is that we are teaching people life skills, positive life skills, helping them move forward into becoming functional adults, or if they're adults, more functional adults. We're teaching confidence. We're teaching respect. We're teaching so many things. And handing out participation awards, bringing children to events that hand them out is counter to those philosophies. We have a responsibility to these children. We have a responsibility to the martial arts. And this is not in line. We're better than this. We need to get rid of participation trophies now, yesterday. If you want to give something to the people attending your event, if you want a physical symbol for them, stop giving out something that falsely simulates effort leading to results. Give them a shirt. Give them an inflatable sword, a coloring book. I don't care what it is. But when you hand out a ribbon, when you hand out a trophy, that is something that people universally look at and see as an accomplishment. Participation is not an accomplishment. I hear wide sections of society talking about millennials, you know, the younger generation. And I don't just mean the millennial generation, but pretty much anybody under the age of about 30, 35, depending on where people are drawing the line. And people will say that we're doomed because all of these folks want things without having to work for them. Well, guess what? We made them this way. It's our own fault. People grew up, my generation grew up being told everything we did was was great and you know, we got rid of a lot of competitive aspects in school. And then we started raising children and passing down those values. It's time we reverse that trend. If you want to take the easy way out and spend 10 cents on a participation ribbon and hand it out at the competition, the tournament that you're hosting, you might as well just put a schedule on your school wall that says how many classes someone has to show up to before they earn their next rank. A black belt is, I don't know, 500 classes. I've never even done the math. Let's say it's that. Well, okay, so I need to go to this many classes a week and that's all I need to worry about and then I'll get a black belt. If that's the way you want to do it in your school, that's fine. But I will never show up at your school. I will never recommend it. And I'm going to guess, personality-wise, we'd never be friends. That's not to say that if in your school you have minimums, you know, X number of classes or time to achieve your next rank, it's not the same thing. That's not to say that if you offer rough estimates of how long the typical student takes to achieve a rank, that's not the same thing either. I'm talking about making that the only requirement. Now, I don't know any school that does that, but maybe there's somebody out there. I'm going to hope not. Stop teaching children that external rewards come simply from showing up and realize that what children really crave and what they deserve, what we should be giving them is love and guidance so they can grow into functional, rational, happy, healthy adults. It is our responsibility as instructors and as participants in the martial arts to set a positive example, not only for children, but for their parents and for the rest of the world. If we're going to stand out from time to time, whether it's individuals or implying our entire martial arts sphere has skills and personality traits that the rest of the world should be adopting, then it is up to us to make sure that we are holding each other accountable for behavior that is working counter. In fact, I'm going to say that much more than any other debate within martial arts, this is where we have failed. But we can reverse that. And we can reverse it pretty easily. It starts now. It starts with the decision to make a change, to not hand out these things at an event you host, or if you have friends that host events, have a conversation with them. Help them see the long-term negative impact of something that seems so trivial. If you feel that an event you're putting on may not attract as many our attendees, because you're not handing out these awards, then you have two decisions. Well, maybe more than two. You can go ahead and do it anyway and know that what you are doing is counter to everything 
I believe you think you really hold dear and you're probably valuing money over your principles. Maybe that says something about you. Or you are nervous about having a confrontation with other school owners or parents. You can offer, as I suggested before, something else in lieu of a ribbon, a trophy, plaque, whatever. Or if you want to be really opinionated like I am right now, you can take a stand and you could even put it on your flyer and say, no participation awards because we believe it's important. Children learn that effort needs to correspond to results. I don't expect anybody to do that last one. It sounds kind of kind of jerkish, doesn't it? But I think you get the point. If you are not willing to take responsibility of the role that you hold as an adult instructor or event participant, uh, promoter in the martial arts, then maybe you shouldn't be teaching and leading others. I want to hear your feedback. Do you disagree with me and have some points that you'd like to make? Maybe you agree. Maybe I missed a, a reason that is important for getting rid of participation awards. Whatever it is, I want to hear from you. You can email me directly, jeremy at whistlekick.com. You can reach out to us on social media. We're at Whistlekick pretty much everywhere. We've got the website show notes, whistlekickmartialartsradio.com, and our online hub for everything we're doing, whether it's martial arts calendar or this or our martial arts memes website, you know, the tons of stuff that we're putting out. You can find all of it at whistlekick.com. I want to thank you for tuning in today. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you listening to me rant. Whether you agree or disagree, hopefully I made you think, because that's really the goal. Until next time, train hard, smile, and have a great day.